Hello again KZ Link. Welcome to another edition of our lesson video in TLE6, Industrial Arts. Today's topic is, Effects of Innovative Finishing Materials, and Creative Accessories on the Marketability of Products. This is a LM based lesson video. So finish watching the video until the end, to understand more of today's subject. But before that, please take time to like, share and subscribe. Hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified in future uploads. Lesson 3 Effects of Innovative Finishing Materials and Creative Accessories on the Marketability of Products Effects of Innovative Finishing Materials and Creative Accessories on the Marketability of Finished Products You must have a deep knowledge of your product, and the products of your competitor entrepreneurs, so that you will always strive to be different and unique. People tend to get bored, or not interested in buying the same products without innovations. You must know the strengths and weaknesses of your products. A product is only expected to be saleable at a certain period of time, but this could be prevented if some strategies and methods, will be applied in enhancing and decorating products. You must never stop inventing new and better ways to enhance your products for the business to keep going. You have to deliver quality and marketable products, for the satisfaction of your customers. Enhancing Bamboo, Wood, Metal and other finished products through sketching, shading, and outlining. A good design must be enhanced more to be attractive to customers. As you have learned the techniques in sketching, outlining, and shading in grade 4, you will now be able to apply these in enhancing your finished products. Methods of enhancing slash decorating products 1. Sketching Freehand drawing on the surface of the product by using your creativity and imagination in the application of different colors, you can create a beautiful and attractive design on a product. Shading Creating shades of lights and dark patterns in a composition or design, thus creating illusions of space and distance. Can be done through the proper use of colors of different hues, values, and intensity. Outlining A drawing in which only the contours of a product are seen, thus emphasizing the shape of a design. Four. Carving Forming a design by cutting Carving wood is one of the processes involved in woodworking. The tool commonly used in carving is the chisel. Use mallet in driving the chisel. This will prevent damage to the chisel's handle. Five. Smoothening The process of removing lint and rough edges on wood. This gives the surface of the wood a very fine texture. Tools used for smoothening are A sandpaper B hand plane
the process of applying materials like paint, varnish, and coloring materials to improve the appearance of the project. Finishing materials that are commonly used in decorating wood, bamboo, and metal products. 1. Fillers. These are applied on wood to fill up cracks, holes, and grooves. There are two kinds of wood fillers. Paste filler. Shellac. A. Paste filler. It comes from silex raw linseed oil, and turpentine. It has colors such as natural, red, or golden oak. White paste fillers are used to fill in big cracks and grooves or wood. B. Shellac. This is a kind of varnish that dries up easily and is not waterproof. It comes from lac gum diluted in alcohol. Shellac is available in white or orange color. Shellac is a resin secreted by the female lac bug, on trees in the forests of India and Thailand. It is processed and sold as dry flakes and dissolved in alcohol to make liquid shellac, which is used as a brush on colorant, food glaze and wood finish. Shellac functions as a tough natural primer, sanding sealant, tannin blocker, odor blocker, stain, and high gloss varnish. Shellac was once used in electrical applications as it possesses good insulation qualities and it seals out moisture. Two. Stains. The common wood stains used are oil stain, water stain, and spirit stain which are named after the solvent used. Stains are sold in different colors and shades. The easiest to apply on wood is oil stain. The hardest one to apply is the spirit stain because it dries up easily. 3. Paint. A finishing material most commonly used on wood. Paint prevents moisture on the wood which causes decay. Paint beautifies wooden objects and makes them easy to clean. Four, Varnish. This is a transparent finishing material that comes from gum, linseed oil, and resin. It is hard and shiny when dry and gives sheen to the wooden project. Varnish is widely used in furniture and upholstery making. 5. Enamel. This is kind of varnish with color. Powdered color pigments are mixed with the varnish. It is used on wood that is not exposed to the sun or rain because it easily fades. There are two kinds of enamel, gloss and non-glossary gloss enamel gives sheen and has an attractive effect on wood. Non-gloss enamel does not give any sheen, but it beautifies wood. 6. Lacquer. Is another kind of varnish made of melted cotton tinters, gum, or chemicals. Like enamel, 
lacquer comes in different colors. Let's do together. In a piece of bond paper, enhance a finished product using sketching, outlining, and shading. Let's remember. Finished products should be enhanced first through sketching, outlining, and shading before application to have an idea how such product looks like when finished. Reinforcement in groups, visit a handicraft or furniture shop. Observe their style in enhancing their products to make them more attractive and unique. Make a written report of your observation and report it to class. Disclaimer this presentation was made for educational purposes only. No copyright infringement intended. Text, images, and clips, all rights credited to the owner. <laughs>